What's going on everybody? Welcome to part four of our Python with OpenCV for image analysis and video analysis tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be take, talking about is really basic image operations and in the next tutorial we'll kind of uh, continue building on top of that. Uh, for this tutorial, again, I'm going to make use of this uh, watch.jpg file. Again, as usual, you can use any image you want, so just use whatever you're, you want to use. So to start, uh, we use the uh, we're going to need the typical import NumPy as MP and then import CV2. Then we're going to need to bring in the image. So be image equals CV2 .m read, and we're going to read in that watch.jpg or whatever the file is that you used. And I'm going to say CV2 .m read underscore color. So generally with image analysis, the way it's going to work is you've got your input source, whatever that happens to be, and then you're going to start doing analysis. Well, your input source, most likely, unless you specify that you don't want it to be the case, uh, generally what people do is they have their input source is full color, just the original feed, and then immediately they convert it to grayscale, and then they begin to perform their analysis and all of that. And like, let's say you're trying to find a face. Okay, so you perform your analysis, you find your face, and you find the coordinates of that face, and then you actually draw that rectangle. You can draw it on the color or on the gray version, but actually you only need to draw it on the colored version. So you draw that little rectangle on the colored version at the coordinates that you know there is a face, and now you've done image analysis on a color image. That's generally the way it goes. So the source a lot of times is going to remain color, and then you'll immediately convert it to gray, do analysis, and then superimpose your analysis on the gray just on color. So um, so that's what we're going to do. Now, to reference like a specific pixel, you can do it by uh, pixel equals image and then the location. So we'll say 55 by 55. Um, that would be the location and that would be the value of this location. So the actual color values. So for example, we could print px like this. And that's the actual uh, color value for that pixel. Um, further, you can actually modify that pixel. We could say image 55, 55, that exact same pixel, uh, now equals 255, 255, 255. Now that is a white pixel, okay? Then we could do the exact same thing we did up here and come down here. Did it really go away? Oh my goodness. Okay, pixel equals image 55, 55. Print px, don't typo. I've been typoing a lot today. And now you can see it's actually been converted to a white pixel. Now, um, the, the next thing that we want to reference is this thing called an ROI. You'll see people say ROI of the image. Uh, what did it, well, actually, they should just say ROI. <laughs> region, or ROI stands for region of image. It's just a, a sub-image of an image, basically. So, uh, the, what we can say is we could say something like this. We could specify a region of the image. So, a region of an image might be something like this, like ROI equals image, and then you could say uh, 100 to 150, and then 100 to 150, uh, and then we could print ROI. I believe it'll be a NumPy array, so it'll truncate it for us, sure enough. Uh, but this is the entire region of that image, all the pixel values. Now we can close that, and instead what we can do <laughs> is hit the heck out of our, and get a little excited smashing my keyboard over here. Uh, we can actually convert all the values to uh, 255, 255, 255. So now that region of that image will be just a big white square, okay? And let's go ahead, let's see what we're looking at now. So let's go ahead, cv2.mshow. Uh, and we'll just say, I'm still laughing at my smash of the keyboard. Ooh, image. And then cv2.wait key. Don't make that same mistake we made before. And cv2.destroy all windows. Go ahead and save and run that real quick. Sure enough, uh, you probably can't see it on my video, but you can probably see it in your pic picture that you've got that one little white pixel. Uh, subsequently, we have converted that ROI to a big, nasty white uh, square. Pretty cool. Uh, 
Now, uh, the next thing that we want to do possibly is like, what we can do is we can take an ROI and, and move it. Like it's almost like a cut and paste. So, or a, um, a copy and paste, not a cut and paste. So, uh, for example, what we could say is on my image, the watch face, watch underscore face is close to, uh, and I'm going to comment this out because it'll, might get in my, I will leave it there. Screw it. Image and the watch face is about the 30, 37 to 111 and then 107 to 194. And then what we can do is we can take this region of image, uh, if we pull up a calculator, like 111 minus 37 is 74 total pixels. And then 194 minus 107 is 87. So keep that in mind. We're gonna use those numbers in just a moment. Watch face equals this. This is a region of an image. And then what we can do is we can redefine a new region of an image. So for example, we could say image, and then remember those numbers before? It was zero to 74, comma, zero to 87. That's our region of image. And that is gonna be equal to watch underscore face. Make sure, this has to be the same size. If it's not the same size, uh, it's not gonna work out well in your favor. So <laughs> let's go ahead and, and save and run that now. And sure enough, as you can see in my image and probably your image, uh, the watch face has been basically copy and pasted over here into the corner. So let's say you can reference regions of images. That won't be the last time you see that, so I'm gonna store that to memory. Now, those are just some really simple operations. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be covering um, a little bit more complex operations that we can apply to our images that we're gonna pretty much be seeing throughout the entire series, especially one of them, or at least one of the concepts. So if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever up to this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.